Right now though, we turn to the ongoing debate about cutting taxes at the pump. Last night, Niagara County became the first in western New York to follow the state's lead and cut the tax that you pay for gasoline starting on June 1st. Niagara will put a cap at $3 a gallon, so that means drivers will not pay sales tax for the price of gas above $3 a gallon. This will probably save you less than a nickel a gallon, but it looks like there's an even bigger cut on the way in Erie County. County Executive Mark Polenkars announced today that he is sending the legislature a resolution that will cap the sales tax in Erie County at $2 a gallon. Now, since the tax is a little higher here, this could save drivers a dime a gallon or more, depending on the price of gas. And rather than ending on December 1st, like Niagara County, or the end of the year, like the state, Erie County's sales tax relief on gas would go through next February. So we welcome back to the show right now Erie County Legislator John Gilmore, among those who's been leading the charge on this. Uh, he was here last week, and sir, it's good to have you back. Uh, it seems like there is now this plan to cap the sales tax at $2 a gallon in Erie County. Uh, I wonder, first of all, do you have the votes to get this done later this week, and, and what should drivers know about how this is going to work? Uh, originally, we thought we were going to do it at $3 per gallon, <clears throat> but um, over the last week or so, there's been a lot of discussion between the legislator, the legislators and the administration, and we've decided that we all agree that it should be at two dollars. I don't know exactly what the, the count on the vote's gonna be, but yes, I do believe we have the votes to get it passed. And County Executive Poland Carr says that the County's Office of Consumer Protection, I have to be honest, I haven't dealt with that agency very much, but that they're going to be keeping an eye on the prices, <laughs> yeah, uh, to make sure that these savings are actually passed on to drivers. Um, because obviously, you know, it's going to take the gas stations actually making the change since they won't be passing on that sales tax, that portion of it. But practically, how, th how is this going to work? And, and what would you say to people who wonder about the enforcement side of it? Well, first, as soon as we pass it, we're going to give it to the state and the state is going to put it in their software system to make sure that that there's an autom there's an automatic deduction. And if anybody tries to increase their prices at the pump to compensate for it, the county plans to, ha to have enforcement people out there checking to enforce, but also obviously we'll be asking for people to self report too. if you go to your local gas station and you notice that it's 10 cents or 5 cents more per gallon at your gas station at the corner of your street, as opposed to out in West Seneca, we'd ask you to contact the county immediately so we can make sure it's taken care of. I know that every penny counts when you're talking about gas prices right now because they have gotten so expensive, a dollar plus more than we were paying a year ago. Um, so a lot of people are pretty pleased to see this. If, if you save 16 cents a gallon from the state and then another 10 or 11 cents from Erie County, it does add up. Um, but obviously that's less money that's going to be coming in to the county. What have the discussions been like about making up for that lost revenue? We, we don't really need to make up for that lost revenue. The, the price of gas has been so high for the last year and a half and sales tax in general has been so it's been so much higher than we expected that we're ahead of the game. And by giving this tax break, we, we have plenty of money to compensate for it. So then finally, let me ask you for people who are watching right now who say, you know, with gas at, at 425 a gallon, that's what I saw when I drove into work today, um, you know, saving 25 cents a gallon or something doesn't make a whole big difference. Uh, what would you say to them? And I know your hands are tied as to what the Erie County Legislature can do, right? Um, why do you think that this is an important step to take? While it's only a quarter per gallon, and it may not seem like a huge saving to one individual. Overall, it's, it's a $20 million tax break for residents of Erie County. And I would say to them, you have to start somewhere. We, we want to give some relief. This is in our wheelhouse. It's something we can do. So we're doing it. And we should let everyone know we've reached out to all of our counties here in Western New York. As we mentioned, Niagara County now moving forward with this. Uh, we'll continue to keep track of the other ones as well. Uh, Erie County Legislator John Gilmore represents South Buffalo, Lackawanna and Hamburg. Uh, great to have you back on walking us through this. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good night.